Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Factorio Massa, where I am joined by Mangled Pork, Steejo, and Arumba. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hey. Close hi, enough. guys. Ah, I see. I Which one of you was obedient. Yeah, I know the, the etiquette. <laughs> Welcome we know how to, to add a little bit of, a, of our own, our own to, like take no. to our introductions. No, of course yeah. not. No, we're no. all the same. we're all the same person. We must yeah, slightly different. <laughs> Basically drones. That's all. But uh, in the last episode, we managed to get up to science, and we've built a smelting area, but we're not actually using it yet. So hopefully, in this episode, we'll get to actually making some stuff. I've just been uh, making some science packs in my pocket just to keep everything. Um, we're currently researching stone walls. Oh, fantastic. Woo. Uh, let's have a look. No sign of biters yet. Arumba, what were the settings for the biters, by the way? Um, I think we have like a, a normal size or, me or maybe it was a big size starting area. The biters okay. are, they exist and I didn't like nerf them. You know, they're really going to be a pain in the ass. Good, because like that's, uh, that's half of the fun for me, is going out there and <laughs> slaying, you know, countless camps of biters, women and children, everything. You sound like uh, Anakin Skywalker right now. The whole <sighs> murdering all of the, the animals. They're filthy animals. I don't think they're filthy. I have conversations with them. I, I like to, to find out about their lives before I end them. Yes, Bentham, Bentham on the other hand, had a biter wife at one point, if you may, you may recall. Yeah, but if you also recall... <laughs> He only had that bite of wife so that he could learn the secrets of the biters so that he would be better equipped to kill them. Honestly, he's the monster, not me. I'm upfront about the fact that I'm going to wipe <laughs> them all out. Bentham, though, he makes them love him first. It's that, it's that extra layer of betrayal. You I don't want to love on this planet horrible, anymore. Horrible spy traitor person. Everyone thinks the, the, the Bentham is the nice one of the group. No, no. I'm just a humble sign maker. That? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> humble sign maker. Yeah, right. Uh, we are. Let's keep the signs flowing. Okay. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Steejo knows where it's, where it's at. Steejo built it like ass. <laughs> uh, I never explained what uh, what mass even stands for. Oh, it I stands think for. Yeah. Oh, because we don't really know. No, we all know. We're smart guys. Uh, we know. They don't need us. to know. It's on a need to know basis. That's a bit hard. We're, we're the factorial embodiment <laughs> of, of Formula One racing. That's right. Felipe. Has nothing to do with rockets. No. <laughs> we're not associated with that, or with that organization. <laughs> to be frank, we're probably better funded. You're not frank, you're AVAC. <laughs> there goes my alias. Thank you, Steejo. Did you miss him? Now I need to make a new one. <laughs> You're Avak underscore. <laughs> I will actually come to your house, murder you, and lick your eyeballs while you die. Oh, that's kind of. Why would you do say, that? Why would you lick his eyeballs, though? Why the fuck not? Have you seen my eyeballs? What's wrong with my fucking eyeballs? I remember sometimes you can be so rude. No. I try. I do try. It's a, it's <laughs> difficult sometimes to keep the rudeness at a, at a constant level. wondering, yes, I've been drinking a lot of coffee today. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. What? Yes, I've been drinking <laughs> a lot today. <laughs> I'm wasted. That too. You heard it here first. My secret is I'm always wasted. <laughs> this is the episode Your of Steve reference. Joe, this, is, this is known. So how do you guys like Bottleneck? Have you used that mod before? No. Have you noticed it? Do you like bottleneck? Nope. You see the, the little the little the little dots next to the machines. Do you have detailed info on? Even without I'm it, it's still there. <laughs> stuff out of the oh, this thing. is the 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 green and yellow and red lights. Yes. So what do they mean then? I'm guessing green means full and red means empty. And what does yellow mean? No, uh, I put. Green means everything's good. Red means that there is not enough resources coming in. Yellow means that there is enough resources coming in, but the output is blocked. Oh, it's okay. That's so okay. And resources can also mean power. Ah, uh, okay. So everything will go red when, when the power dies, inevitably. Oh, you, you're already predicting power shortages. I'm working on power right now. Yeah, you're saying that you'd a uh, substandard job. I remember, you're going to take that. 
I'm what are you talking about? I'm doing a good job. Yeah, yeah exactly. So how very dare he? <sighs> Bentham, love you know, in our usual let's plays, we're so kind and, and just so happy and generally nice. And then the, we spend like two minutes with these guys and it's all just like civil war. What do you do to us? I know. They're a horrible influence. There we go. With my limited capabilities from the uh, that is, lack of concrete, I was wondering I've made what you were up to, but that is actually pretty good. Well done. I like it. The A's look slightly weird. That's fine. When it comes time for us to uh, advance to light, I think you and Steedro should have a light off. A light off. Well, surely, surely it should just be lights versus stone. Well, no, no that's, because let's that's be uh, quite <laughs> coupling for you then. Yeah. Could be really good stone. <laughs> he has the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> my my abilities with lights are not very good. Right. So, talk us through this uh, little setup you got here. What what's going on with the splitters? How how are you? You'll gonna... see. You'll see, okay. and it uh, connects. Are you up. gonna? Are you feeding both um, the ore and the coal onto a single belt? Yes. Is that the idea? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I usually use um, circuits to achieve that. Just scanning the belt for the composition of how much stuff is on the belt. If there's not enough of a certain thing, it starts letting that thing through, um, and it gets a pretty good uh, balance on the belt over time. Oh yeah, you guys. We, it's wow. It's been so long mm. since we did the mass campaign. Yeah, they've not. They've not been part of the priority splitter nonsense. Oh god, are we gonna do that at the end? We're gonna. We're gonna get all into the priorities. We, we have to talk about it, but I don't think we should really go nuts with it this time around. I've got. I've oh, kind no, of observed totally from not the sidelines. I'm kind I'm of ignored. Mildly away. It's a great concept. I think it's a great concept that needs more support built into vanilla to make it yes. really good. For now, it, I don't know. I've definitely lost some interest in it. It solves a problem that doesn't really need to be solved. and that's Well, it does kind of need to be solved. To be honest, that's I'd... like 90% of anything I do with circuits. Yeah. There's an easier way to do it with van just getting it done, you know, using splitters or whatever, but I like doing it with circuits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it it's just the way that is, really. Um, I don't think you should should not do something because, uh, you know, the, the, oh, it's it's a little bit more efficient doing it this way, or we don't really need to do it. It's like the the guy who discovered magnetism. He's like, yeah. I mean, I could, I could, magnets. I don't know what we'll use them for, but uh, I'm pretty sure the queen is going to tax us on it. <laughs> and then you know it becomes like. Uh, uh, foundation for modern science and engineering. Magnets are the foundation of modern year. What? I didn't realize. <laughs> well, it's definitely one of the pretty big components of, of modern engineering, or do you think that we can achieve much of anything we do in modern times without them? It's a really important, yes. I Magnets are pretty with. cool and, I'd, and, and, and they're confusing. I, I feel. Magnets are one of those things that, in physics, are still like black magic to me. The question is, how do they work? Why is well, I understand so that, but it's the conservation of energy that I don't get. Like, how does conservation of energy work with magnets? I don't understand. Well, you know, the answer around the question. Being dumb and I'm picking up loads of... Uh... Oh, I'm not going to make an iron chest, I'll just make a wooden chest. I've picked up loads of coal over time, I'm just going to... Just stop in the furnaces. ...and have it. Now I was gonna put put a, a little because I've got loads of coal. Because every time I pass these things, now now that I've got this ability to pick things up from forever away, I'm doing it all the time compulsively. And I just realized, yeah, I've got a huge amount of inventory now thanks to another mod. But yes, I'm larger just filling inventory it with coal. <laughs> Why am I filling my inventory with coal? This does because, not seem to make sense to me. Because you can. You can. That's yeah. exactly that's the only reason. It's because you can. This, there's too many, too many trees. The forest is ridiculous. Yeah, this forest is incredibly dense. Let's have a look at the map. Still no biters. I remember you showing uh, you how Jimmy no. did the seconds. 
No, they they exist. Um, big part of it is that with RSO, they don't. They're they're more widespread. They still like replicate and like they'll move and stuff, but it's so just about like going a, on a hunt for them. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. making I'm making a weapon and I'm making armor, and that is exactly what I'm about to do. <laughs> you're already gonna go kill them. That's so you're such a murderous bastard. My gosh. Why would you yeah, murder I'm all the biters? If they attack me, I'll kill them, but otherwise I'll leave them alone. <clears throat> Maybe you should just wait for the uh, the radar to do its job. We can throw down a whole bunch of radar and generate a ton of pollution if it makes you happy. We still have oh. oh, there there it is. I was wondering where the radar had gone. I just uh, moved that in the way. Pardon me for wanting to be prepared. Fair. I mean, oh, they're already enemies? You haven't even fucking met them and you're calling them your enemy? Yeah, what the maybe, fuck? Maybe the fighters well, on this map are friendly. Look, look, it's, it's basically the thing with DayZ, right? In DayZ, when you're playing, when you're just on your <laughs> own and you're moving around in DayZ, every person you meet is like, are you a friend or you're an enemy? Can we trade? Shall we just have like a Mexican standoff and then just slowly pace around each other and then just leave? Because we don't need to fight and if we fight, there's a chance that both of us are going to end up hurt. But the moment you're in a team, no, everyone who is in part of our team is an enemy. Shoot first, ask questions later. There's, there's less risk of loss that way. And yeah. there's definitely that in, in Factorio for me. <laughs> the biters are not me, therefore they are an enemy. They are not you, therefore, I mean, Steejo is a question mark. Everyone else is definitely an ally, but yeah. I still haven't forgiven you for the grenades. I like to think that I'm... Uh... I know. A rogue agent. <laughs> a questionable entity. Where's this iron going? The, the ore? Yeah. It's supposed to go nowhere here, just I now. Guess. But now it's yeah. going off in that direction. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Have you, ever, have you ever heard of the main bus? It's a. It's yeah, we've got to hook it into this thing over here. Ooh. Yeah, it is, but this is, an un this is a, a secondary bus as opposed to a main one. Steejo, I don't like what you've done. Why? Because the inserters go in the center to facilitate the underground belt, remember? Like this. Oh, of course, yeah. Aha! I was right, and he didn't disagree for the first time in history. Steejo has admitted fault? For the first time in history, he's not disagreed with me. Well, this is a short-lived <laughs> series. Yeah. Good I guess we're everyone. Done. Exactly, we don't need, we don't need <laughs> to take it any further. Mission accomplished. Uh, I'm going to dump things that I don't want in here. Bump, bump, bump. There we go. Is the thing, I want to help here, but I know that anything I do will immediately be like, No, that's wrong. What are you doing? Probably. No, just, I'm glad just that you figured this out, though. If they, if they don't <laughs> like it, have a fight. Yeah, you can build it however you want. Oh, that's I mean. exactly what I was going to do. Damn it. Yeah, just yeah, do it. So, it's, it's, it's a main boss, dude. But I don't trust you. You're like, oh yeah, you, this is fine. It's normal. And I'm like, okay, I'll just put this thing here. No, what are you doing? You're insane. I'm just hanging out with these plebs until they've got enough resources that I can steal some decent stuff. Then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go build your own your own factory with blackjack and hookers. No, his own firebase. He's gonna build a firebase. Yeah. <laughs> a little firebase of my own. Oh, that'd be great. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and uh, check out in the distance. See if uh, there are any interesting. I should we do this. Should, should we? Do strength in numbers or cover more ground? Um, strength in numbers if you want. All right, I'm on my way. Okay. The moment I encounter a worm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm off. I'm uh, done. Yep. yep. <laughs> I'm noping out of this situation. It was, it was fun <laughs> while it lasted, but no. Oh, desert in the north. Mm. That means lots of. Long range traveling pollution. But also means driving and not crashing yes. into things. Mm -hmm. No. Have you guys tried Farl now that uh, there's a setting where you can just have it, it'll it'll bulldoze trees and rocks and everything as you're driving? There's always been that setting. Well, okay, I'm thinking of the one uh, if you put a Farl on the front and a Farl facing the opposite direction at the end, then you can like drive and it'll pick up the track as you drive. So you can just drive wherever you want and it'll still clear the trees as you drive. Yeah, that's always I, been a certain. I well, have fine. not used file before. I have not used file at all before. So I'm not, uh, not going to argue with this Steejo fellow. <laughs> I used to be called uh, root mode. Yeah. And now they're called the Buildos, which makes a lot more fucking sense. Yeah. What was the root mode all about anyway? I think it was... I think it had something to do with negative root. I think it might have been like his idea or something. Oh, okay. An oasis in Indeed. the north. 
Nice. Look at all that water. Oh, we've actually that? found a deposit of something. There's some stone here. To build strong walls out of. This sort of map would actually be perfect for like a town style game. Yeah. All the I trains really have to really travel miles. I really enjoy your town series. It is lots of fun, especially now I've got I can actually flamethrower people. Or fighters. Also people. If on Yeah, on that note, uh I, I, I think I'll settle far away from Mangled Four. <laughs> <laughs> However, yeah, the flamethrower, I mean, it's bordering on OP, really. Yeah, but oh, yeah, it's, they're saying once, it's getting uh, yeah, once balanced. You, once you get shields, and you can tank a couple of hits, flamethrowers make any base trivial. Before yeah, that, yeah. some bases were still hard, because you'd have to tank a lot of hits to, like, shotgun down everything. But now it's like, uh, a little I bit too easy. A yeah. point of it is that once something's on fire, it, it never stops burning till it's dead. Ooh, Ooh hello. Found some. Found some. Have you guys uh, tried any... Have you tried the Robot Army mod? I'm going to assume the answer is no, but... Uh, I've seen you guys using it in your... Um, in your no, we're not, uh, we're not using it. Is you used in a mass uh, towards the end, the weird mini tanks? Or no. something else? Uh, that's different. Those were like, I don't know, those were like a weird follower robot. This, this actually makes like little Johnny Fives. You ever watch... Uh, the, the movie Short Circuit. Yeah. Johnny Five, Five is, alive. is alive. It makes little little robots that look like Johnny Five. That will they're like hunter seekers. They'll go kill all biters that they can find. In a huge radius, they basically wow. have biter biter attack logic. It, it lets you automate base removal. Just one more thing you can automate in Factorio. See, I I really like the automation in Factorio. That's like a part of it for me. But I I, I like the automation to require effort and investment from me if that makes sense i don't like just having I, a, a thing that i can turn on it's like yeah there we go it'll go out and it'll expand basically because at that point i didn't automate it i just installed a mod into it. i agree with you there and that uh, like some people were saying when we were doing the priority splitters oh why don't you use this mod to do it like um there's a mod called hacked splitters that mm -hmm. the the mod maker basically made it have the ability to do priority splitters oh, okay right yeah um, it, it didn't quite work 100%, but even if it did, I would still not use it because it's like, okay, this really cool thing that I was really enjoying trying to puzzle out, Yeah. you've just made a mod that makes it just work. Like, yeah, that's exactly. not fun to me. Exactly. And, and that's the thing. It comes back again to, because I've been doing a lot with, uh, in, in my like personal games, Factoria, I've been playing around with circuits a lot. And a lot of what I build, it's either... Something you can do another way, and in, in many cases, it's significantly less costly in terms of initial resource investment, or it's just something you didn't necessarily need to do, but it's fun to do it. And then yeah. I've seen a couple of mods that just achieve the same result with like one little thing that you build. And I'm like, where was the fun in that? It took me like 30 minutes to work out a way to get this to happen with the circuit network. And I'm really happy. It's like spaghetti all over the place. But it's really cool that it's doing this, you know, intelligent thing. And then, yeah, you just install a mod to get the same effect. It's like, well... But again, it comes down to um, how people want to play the game. Yeah. And ultimately, if you have fun, just have fun playing it that way. Don't let someone else tell you how to have your fun, effectively. But for me... I like to to be involved in the automation. I don't like just to have it handed to me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a fair point. It's a good, good argument. All right, well, I'm mapping out around this lake. Oh, Bentham, you've done a really good job over there. We found a, an oil deposit up past a couple of biters. I'm going to move around this uh, lake, this oasis, or at least a, a little ways until it becomes clear that it's bigger than I expect. Wow. And we'll see if I find anything else. There's some Vanilla huge Factorio. iron deposits in the, uh, in the northwest. Yeah. Yeah, Seems it's crazy. Cold as well. We already have fast splitters. I'm used to like Bob's mods where fast splitters are like a big deal because then you've automated the second tier of circuits and it's like... Oh, yeah. Vanilla is, is very quick. The pacing is much, much different Vanilla. But you can still play for, you know, dozens and dozens of hours and it just keeps getting more and more complex. Even yeah. with... Vanilla. I guess you get well, more of the thing, tools earlier. 
one thing I've been doing lately is trying to make um, efficient and, and high throughput um, smart smelter setups. So instead of having uh, a bunch of smelters that are dedicated to a specific resource, having just one massive smelting area that intelligently works out what you need and then smelts that. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. clever. You should build that. Do it again. I would like yeah, to see sure. that later on. Once yeah, we, I like once uh... we get the circuits and things like that. Yeah, that would actually be pretty fun. I I'm probably going to spend a lot of time just mad sciencing in this. Well, not specifically sciencing. I I already have an idea of what I'm going to build. So there'll probably be less me working stuff out and more me just doing stuff and explaining it. I, I would enjoy sh uh, playing around with that. And also probably, you know, writing things about Steve Joe in lights. <laughs> hmm. Ah, there's the circuit circuit skills coming in. Unfortunately, though. It's that time again. The what time? Was that, Steve Joe? The time? It's that time. Were you cutting out a little yep. bit for anyone else or just me? You cut out a little bit there. Fucking Skype! Out of it, yeah. Yeah, he was I out hate Skype so much. Ah, so me. fucking much. <laughs> we can use something else if, if you don't like Skype. Fucking shit. Fucking programs. Piece of shit. Well, this is so, why Skype doesn't treat you with respect. Yeah, you don't treat that's, Skype that's how you really respect. feel. Gee. <laughs> I was expecting to find biters going this way, but I just keep walking and they never appear. I was I like, oh yeah, I'll just walk till I find very... biters and turn back. I think, I think though... Part of that is that I, I remember this is just like basic regular biter um, stuff. Is that right? Like you haven't oh. increased the density or the size of their bases or anything like that. They're definitely a lot further away than they normally are. It's all RSO. So the RSO does the spacing, but beyond that, yeah. I mean, they're out there. It's, just, it's just default, yeah. I, I think the reason why I'm so surprised that I haven't found biters, I usually like ramp the biters up quite high because I enjoy having to fight my way through the biters because it adds that extra layer of challenge. Oh, they'll 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 spread. Oh yeah, you know? I mean they'll evolve as well, and they'll get pretty strong very quickly. I don't like getting like harassed within the first fifteen minutes. I like to just be able to you know set some stuff be up. Be honest, and... Rumble, you don't like getting harassed at all. Yes, yeah, true. Yes, yeah, true. Anyway, we gotta wrap it up. CJ's gonna get upset. I know that's I'm dragging uh, around. I've got a blinky red light on my my screen that's <clears throat> really bugging me. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think it was you, so... Okay, yeah. So, thank you very much for joining us, everyone. We hope you enjoyed and are enjoying the series. Remember, if you've got any feedback, then by all means, leave us a comment down below, and Steve Joe will probably ignore it or insult you. <laughs> Just the kind of guy he is. Very but uh, until next time, take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.